Good afternoon, Redeemer family and everybody joining us on the internet around the world. Our devotion for this afternoon is based on our epistle reading for the circumcision in name of Jesus, which is January 1st. And the epistle reading is Galatians chapter 3, verses 23 to 27. Galatians chapter 3, verses 23 to 27. Paul writes, Now before faith came, we were held captive under the law, imprisoned until the coming faith would be revealed. So then the law was our guardian until Christ came, in order that we might be justified by faith. But now that faith has come, we are no longer under a guardian. For in Christ Jesus you are all sons of God through faith. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, nor slave nor free. There is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you are Christ, then you are Abraham's offspring, heirs according to the promise. You know, as we hear this passage of Scripture, you know, one of the things that we take to heart is this idea of being formerly slaves under the law, formerly captive under the law, and now uh, by faith we're set free. You know, I can think of numerous stories that I've read and heard of uh, prisoners of war, you know, and the, the war dictated to them, um, especially their captivity, where they would go, what they would do, where, when they would eat, when they, you know, would do absolutely everything in their lives. Um, but, you know, the law is like that. When God instituted the law, it was meant to do exactly what Paul describes it to do, is you know, keep us uh, on a straight and narrow, kind of protect us from ourselves, uh, until that time that faith would come. And that was God's promise, you know, from the very beginning, all the way back in Genesis, God's promise to Adam and Eve carried on through various uh, and many prophecies by a very and many prophets and even God himself, the promise of a savior, a promise of the gift of salvation. And so that is the faith that Paul is referring to here. The faith, the Christian faith, that would come to its reality and fruition in the person of Jesus Christ. And so that's what he means in verse 1. He says, I'm imprisoned until the coming faith would be revealed. Jesus was born. Faith was about to be revealed in its entirety. And it was revealed in its entirety when Jesus rose from the grave. So all of that from his, um, from his conce conception all the way through his resurrection, all of that was to give us the fulfillment of the prophet, uh, the promises, and to give us this faith in Jesus Christ that takes hold of his righteousness. You know, faith comes our, our righteousness comes by faith and is credited to us. And, and so as we hear of this guardian then, that guardian falls away when we have faith in Jesus Christ. We don't need the law to guide us, to guard us, to protect us, to tell us what to do and not do. Now we need the gospel to show us God's love, to show us what he has done for us, to forgive our sins and to give us life. All of that is what we see in the faith. So I want to remind you that, you know, today is the fourth day of Christmas. And in the carol, the four calling birds are the four gospel writers. And the four gospel writers, you know, call us to hear of Jesus know Jesus, hear his word, hear his messages, and have faith in him. So, you know, they're calling us to this faith. The Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. 
And as we hear those words and the messages that are therein, then that faith brings us to the waters of our baptized, and we put on Christ. We put on his righteousness. We're covered in him, you know, covering our sins, washing them away, and making us new. Now we are a Christian, a believer in Christ. And so when Paul says in verse 28, we need to understand, not in the terms of what our world is talking about, because our, our world talks about these things as far as uh, racism and um, all kinds of division. But what Paul is talking about is being united in faith in Christ. And so when he says there is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is neither male nor female, for you all are all one in Christ Jesus, he's talking about the faith that unites us, the faith that joins us together into the one holy Christian apostolic church, the one holy Christian faith that we can only receive by faith in Jesus our Savior and by the waters of our baptism in a relationship to that faith. All of that comes as our new life in Christ, having put it on, we have a new baptismal identity. And then the last thing he says in verse 29, and if you are Christ, then you are Abraham's offspring, heirs according to the promise. See, the promise was first made to Abram. And remember, you know, back in Genesis chapter 12, that all the nations of the earth would be blessed through Abraham. Well, here's that promise being fulfilled that people of every nation can be blessed through the fulfillment of that promise. And so we're all children of Abraham through faith in Jesus Christ, heirs of the promise made to him. How blessed are we that we are covered in the righteousness of Christ, washed by the waters of our baptism, made his own, claimed by him, redeemed by him, and given life in him. In Jesus' name, amen. Please pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, we ask that you would strengthen us in our faith. Help us to recognize the gift that we have by faith, that we're no longer captives of the law, being told what we can do and what we cannot do. But now we have freedom from our sin, freedom from death, freedom from the power of the devil, free to live in you and with you, free to know uh, the righteousness of Christ covers us. Strengthen us in that faith that we may have not only the joy of faith, but the confidence in faith. Not the fear, but the certainty of life in you, salvation from you. In your name, amen. Have a blessed Wednesday, the fourth day of Christmas, and I pray that you would be strengthened in faith to enjoy your freedom in Christ. Have a blessed Wednesday.